Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. So earlier on today, I showcased a brand new Gauntlet Interceptor police car, which if you guys aren't aware, is an unreleased upcoming vehicle that Rockstar Games will be releasing into the game very, very soon. However, in that video, not only did we discuss the price of the vehicle, showcase all of the customizations, but I also gave you guys a heads up on how you could unlock the trade price, which would knock off a handsome $1.4 million and that will be by completing an upcoming mini heist or a raid known as the clock and bell raid now thanks to data miners we have full details on how this mission is gonna work and what it's all about which we're going to be taking a closer look at in today's video as it's looking like going into 2024 rockstar games do have a ton of police content and cut cops and crooks content that they plan on releasing into the game in the near future and this mini police heist will just be the start of it so as always if you guys do appreciate me keeping you up to date with all of the latest gta 5 news all i ask is you do return the favor by dropping a like down below and if you guys are new around here hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on as i do post daily gta 5 videos with that being said let's get into the video Okay, so you guys that are regular viewers on my channel, you will know that on the release date of the brand new Chop Shop DLC, right at the start of the month, I actually made a video talking about this brand new mission as data miners managed to get the intro cutscene for the brand new police heist. However, at that point, the data miners weren't too sure what this mission was all about. However, a data miner known as Lucas Yoshi has managed to get all of the cutscenes from the upcoming mission, which I'll quickly play out for you guys so you can get a better idea of what this mission is going to be all about and then i'll jump back on the mic once the cutscenes are finished whenever i was going inside not with your reputation for depravity and general aversion to the law in all seriousness your countenance is quite discernible and there are certain of my consociates who would take it upon themselves to exercise their right to lethal force were they to encounter you in person. But it's good to meet you, my friend. Vincent, the LSPD's newest recruit. Let's take a walk. Who would take it upon themselves to exercise their right to lethal force were they to encounter you in person. But it's good to cross paths with you again, my friend. After head of security at the Diamond, this isn't exactly what I had in mind, but it's still a long way from a mall cop, right? Let's take a walk. Relax. I'm a cop, but I'm not a cop. This is just where the universe put me right now. I mean, I have my path and you have yours. And quite frankly, I don't give a damn about your antics out there. In fact, we may be able to assist each other. I mean, check this out. You see that misguided individual? How do you think he's gotten away with selling drugs in front of that burger shop? very conspicuously for 10 years now, in front of the largest department in the city. He cuts them in. Effenberger, you copy? Yo, Effenberger. I copy. Worst last name ever, dude. <laughs> I mean, Effen what? <laughs> anyway, when you got five, we all need some Effen coffee down here on Dix. And don't forget the Effen cream and sugar. Copy that. All oh, these motherfuckers. Huh? I'm out here getting coffee for cops on the take. And that guy over there is only a modicum of the issue. There's a new cartel running a large-scale cocaine operation out of the Cluck and Bell factory in Polito Bay. And being no doubt, the cops, they're not only turning a blind eye, they're actively facilitating. If you ask me, the cartel and the cops can both go to hell, preferably on the back of the same bullet. I'm talking about a surgical strike, man. Taking out the whole operation. That's why I came to you. Let's go somewhere a bit more unfrequented. I understand your motivation in these matters. If you raid that factory, anything you find is yours to keep. But this isn't about the drugs for me. This is about these assholes running the biggest protection racket in the state. That's the kind of status quo I cannot abide. As far as my part, I can provide all the intel you need. Records, names, locations. We will need to educate ourselves on the factory, though. 
Gather materials so you can attack it with style and aptitude. Ding fucking dong, Officer Effenberger. We're effing falling asleep over here. Get us some effing coffee. Copy that. I'm on my way. Think about it. If anybody deserves to be fucked with, it's these guys. Can I count you in? Excellent. Now on to the first order of business. Acquire some funds. And fortuitously, we have files on some money laundering operations not far from here. The department allows them to operate for a share of the profits. I suggest we take a more proactive stance. <laughs> Time to do what you do. I'll call you. Let me take these fucking assholes their coffee. Excellent work. Mission accomplished. Now to the vital matter of payment. As I'm sure you can appreciate, there are certain transactions I can't be party to as an officer of the law. But if I've learned anything from my consociates on the LSPD, it's how to look the other way. Remember, as far as I'm concerned, you can hit that factory as often as you'd like. As long as you're giving me reasons to keep looking the other way, I'm happy. As you can see from my choice of transportation, my fortunes at the LSPD are also improving. Just got these babies in, fresh off the line. <laughs> Guess who picked one up? Until next time, well, let's disassociate. Okay, so as you guys just heard, Vincent Effenberger will be giving you guys this brand new police heist to go ahead and take part in. And a lot of you guys might be thinking to yourself, why does this Vincent Effenberger look very familiar? He is actually the former head of security of the Diamond Casino and Resort. Although he's never seen on the casino property outside of missions or cutscenes. If you guys have played that heist, then you will remember Vincent does actually help you defend the casino during the mission housekeeping and bad beat now it looks like vincent has moved on to bigger things and is now a police officer rather than the head of security of the casino and as you guys heard he will be setting up corrupt officers in the lspd that are running drugs through the clock and bell farm we also get a glimpse that one of the missions is going to involve a train transporting these clock and bell boxes. However, more importantly, at the end of the mission, we do see Vincent driving off in the brand new Gauntlet Interceptor police car, which of course we do know we will be unlocking the trade price for by completing this mission. And like I said to you guys in my video earlier on today, and if you guys have missed that video, I will leave it linked down low in the comment section. However, as I mentioned in that video, you will be saving over 1.4 million dollars by completing this mission and unlocking the trade price so for you guys that are looking to collect a nice fleet of police cars in your garage it's definitely worth going ahead and doing now if you guys aren't aware in that video earlier on today i also showcased all of the customization features and what this car is all about if you guys do want more information on it so like i said i'll leave a link to that video down low in the comment section and if you guys would like to keep up to date with all of the latest gta 5 news before i post my videos then do be sure to go ahead and join my discord server which will be linked in the pinned comment underneath this video however that is going to do it for me guys as always if you do appreciate me keeping you up to date with all of the latest gta 5 news all 
I ask is you do return the favor by dropping a like down below and if you guys are new around here hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on as I do post daily GTA 5 videos. Thanks a lot for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.